Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada. And if this is your first time, thanks for hanging out with us. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. And as I mentioned last week, I'll be at the Mississippi Songwriters Festival this weekend in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast in spite of that hurricane. We have over a hundred songwriters performing on multiple stages and it's going to be amazing and I hope I'll see you there. And I'll also be shooting our next episode of Enchilada on the Road while I'm there, which will upload on September 24th. So don't miss that and don't forget to hit subscribe. Now, this week we have an important topic to dive into, a topic we might not think about or until we realize the fun and spontaneity in our lives has seemed to disappear. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's balance. Without it, life can seem more like drudgery than excitement and adventure. So let's have a good look at it and see how we can not only get balance back into our lives, but also learn to keep it there assuring us of more fulfilling days to savor. First off, what does a balanced lifestyle look like? Well, balanced living means considering all aspects of your life, relationships, work, fitness and health, and emotional well-being. We all get bogged down with work and family responsibilities from time to time, but making time for yourself is necessary so that you can keep up with your responsibilities. So what are some ways we can find a healthy balance? Well, make time during the work week to sneak in some exercise on your lunch hour or get up a little earlier and work out before you shower and get ready for the day. Good idea. And treat exercise like appointments. Add your plans to your calendar so you are more likely to feel committed. That's a great idea. Experts say it's the best way to juggle life's many demands. Next, what factors could contribute to feeling out of balance or out of control in your life, you ask? Well, there are several. Starting with, you haven't defined what balance truly means to you yet. You haven't been practicing self-discipline. You aren't being consistent with your actions. You don't plan ahead and you aren't taking proper care of yourself. And here's some tips on looking after your mental health. Super important. Talk about your feelings. Talking about your feelings can help you stay in good mental health and deal with times when you feel troubled. Keep active, eat well, drink sensibly, keep in touch, ask for help, take a break, and do something you're good at. You know, as I'm reading these different ways to keep balance in our lives, huh, I'm struck by just how simple and sensible the tips and suggestions are, aren't you? If life weren't so chaotic and confusing at times, we might have figured out most of them already on our own, but you know what? Life comes at us fast and furious sometimes, and often we can spend a lot of our thought time just trying to keep up, right? So I think it's great to be able to review all the ways we have to improve our life experiences right here, gathered up together for us to consider and to see where we stand with balance in our own lives today. Well, let's look at a few more ways to have balance in our lives before we call it a day, okay? All right. Well, here's some simple ways to find balance and get your life back. Turn it off. Disconnect on the weekends. Pay attention to your health. Spend time alone, oh yeah. Treat yourself, explore the world. And here's some suggestions for maintaining a healthy work-life balance. Plan to play, I've meant to say, to your strengths. Don't be all things to all people. Prioritize your time. Know your peaks and troughs. Have set work hours. 
Find time for your finances. Make your workspace work for you. So there's plenty of suggestions and tips for you to consider in increasing balance in your life. My personal suggestion is take what you like and leave the rest. Now, that's some good advice. Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.